Good day everyone! Today, Home Builders Buyer's Guide takes you in Kalubkob, San Juan, Batangas to see the Earth Dome built by Turtex International. And we're here with Ms. Sheila Malikse. Ma'am, what's your role in Turtex International? I'm the COO. Child of owner. Okay. <laughs> Which means I do anything and everything there is for the company. But really, in, in reality, I am overseeing the entire operations. Okay. So ma'am, can you tell us more about Earth Dome? Yeah, sure. This actually started in 2013 when we had the first earthquake in Yolanda, Haiyan, in Leyte and Bohol. We started with a design that incorporates earth into the design. So all this is made of earth. Ms. Sheila, can you tell us about the appearance of the Earth Dome? Why does it look like this? We've built this to look like a dome and really be a dome uh, to help with uh, being earthquake resistant. And Philippines being in the ring of fire, we experience earthquakes a lot. And it's some of the strongest earthquakes happen here in the Philippines. A dome is actually the strongest shape in nature. So this is why we've built it. Now this dome is a little bit unique because we have attached three other domes to it. So there's four domes total here. Okay. Every single thing that we've done here is not just for one purpose. It okay. has multiple uses, multiple purposes. So building a dome, if you think about a dome like this, huh? Depending on the size of the dome, eventually it would, if there's enough force going down this way or force going out this way, it's going to open up. So what we did was create a buttress. So this right here, it looks like a seat. That actually is a purpose. So that actually is a dome buttress. It helps the dome keep its, keep its shape right here. But because we want to be practical, we want to be functional, we created this to be an extra seating, outdoor seating. And you even have a little pillow right there. What's the reason for the layering, Mom? Why are we seeing these layers? Oh, uh, these are made, the earth is actually placed in earth bags, or, or rice bags, I should say. These right here, underneath here, are rice bags so that we can put earth in it. And it's easy, easier to put together as a dome. Otherwise, it's very difficult to create a dome. The shape of this is called a catenary arch. The catenary arch is, if you think about McDonald's, that's okay. the perfect catenary arch. It's by Gaudi, the architect Gaudi in Spain. So you'll see a lot of that in, in a lot of the earth architecture. Um, what I want to show you is right here. Touch that portion right there. Nope, down on the floor where you have, you see hands. Right, right there. Those are the hands of the people who made this dome. <laughs> but if it feels really, really hot here, you touch that. That is the same exact material as this. And you will notice a temperature variance of maybe 10 to 12 degrees. So where this white portion is, is actually gonna be a lot cooler than that. So that is not treated, this is. But this is not any ordinary paint. This is a thermal cool by Turtex International. This is our waterproofing system. Now what we have here looked like cake, you know, like a wedding cake, but this is actually a, um, a way for us to get up there. There's a, a little viewing deck here, but really this was initially made because so that we can do maintenance up here. So this is the inside of the dome. How many rooms do we have here? Well, we have four domes and then we have four rooms. This room right here where we're in is what we call the great room. The great room, because it's great, it can do everything. It has the kitchen, it has the living room, it can do, you can use it for whatever you want. Um, and then we have two bedrooms, one here and one right here. And right behind you, behind this yellow curtain, is the CR. So we have four rooms. Okay, ma'am, I noticed this thing. Um, is this just for aesthetics or does it have a purpose? Uh, this one is, you can call it a screen, you can call it a divider, but it looks like a huge hanger. Uh, this actually is something that's just pretty to go with the theme of the Persian theme. You know, this is a Persian door right here. Um, but this one right here really serves as 
Since right behind us is the comfort room, this actually serves as the door. So if somebody's inside, you can close it like this, and then you know somebody's in, you can't open it. So that's the purpose of this. Um, what else has dual purpose? Pretty much everything, including these lights right here. These lights are run by solar power. Okay. If, for whatever reason, there is no electricity, there is no solar power, you can actually remove these baskets and put candles in them and take them all around. So you've got several of these to work in. Um, this door right here is what I call, a, as I mentioned, is a Persian door, but feel free, take a seat. That is also doubling as a seat. Actually uses this which is a local material, instead of using an ordinary sink like we're used to, we like to be different. So we used whatever is local, whatever is available, whatever is cheap. And this is an outdoor water fountain. So we just repurposed it into a sink. It's already used to water. Why not? It should work and it does. The windows, we're using polycarbonate just because there is a lot of polycarbonate that the owner of this farm has and it controls the wind, you can control it. So if you decide that you don't want any ventilation here, you can close it or you can open it. If you want technology, I know we can't get rid of all our, our Facebook accounts, plug it in. These are local materials. They're called Emperador. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a lot of hard work right here. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, we, we try to use whatever, but this is really for lighting. This is a skylight. And up here is a real skylight, because that brings a lot of light inside. But at night, that little brown thing in there is a solar power uh, light. So it automatically turns on. But we've got this control right here, because sometimes if people want to be in here, but they don't want to have any light, they can turn it off. You'll also notice right here um, these uh, sacks right here. This is what it looks like before we finished it. This one right here is not paint, it is not waterproof, um, it's not a waterproofing material. This is called uh, lime wash. This is what's being used when we do a lot of his uh, historic restoration. Um, this is just really lime that's been processed, the limestone that's been processed. It's really simple and you've got it. seeing the Earth Dome, do you think it would be possible for Earth to be more widely used in the construction industry here in the Philippines? Uh, it is definitely possible and that's why we're building this because we want to show people that it is definitely possible, plausible, it's available. Uh, it might take a long time for people to actually accept it as something that they would live in. But we're hoping that by showing this, building this, they can see that, hey, all we need is something just enough, just right. We don't need those big houses. What's the purpose of those big houses? You know, we don't use most of the rooms. We use 10% of the house. But this gives you the entire place. You get to use it as long as it's designed well. Everything has a purpose. Everything has multi-purpose. Yeah, absolutely.